Welcome to the Fall Day. I'm Jesse Lee Peterson. 50% of marriages end in divorce. What does it take to have a marriage that lasts until death do you part? I have with me Pastor Maurice Boykins and his wife, Pastor Anita Boykins. And together they co-pastor Tapanaika of Faith Healing and Deliverance Ministry in Mission Hills, California. Maurice, why did you decide to marry? Who was about a needle that you said, this is it? God is amazing. That's first of all, he's amazing. And uh, his plans uh, that he had for us, we don't know. But uh, one day, you know, I saw her in a restaurant when I was working. Many, she many was having ago. lunch there? Yes, with her family. And you were working there? Yes, I was. Oh, okay. <laughs> and um, it was just something different about her, you know. And it was just something that... Uh, immediately grabbed my attention and, and like, I just wow. said, yes, sir. And I was like, wow, you know, I said, meant for, for me to be with her, I see her again. Mm -hmm. And I saw again, we was in the same school, didn't even know it. Really? Mm -hmm. What made you say yes when he asked to marry him? Oh, wow. You know, we had took a break, but God brought us back together. And, um, and I knew because um, that was, I, I do admit, that was some growing up that I needed to do yeah. also. You were immature. Yeah. yeah, and what happened was in that time, um, I realized what type of man, you know, God needs for me. And, you know, he, he brought him back around. He was just perfect. He just fit the bill, and, and I knew. What, what do you look for in a man? They need to have the fear of the Lord within yeah. them to ground them. Um, a sense of humor. He's which funny. Is very much so. <laughs> very much so. Ever since the beginning, yeah. he's had a sense. Always kept me laughing. Yeah. Always wanted uh, a person that was, even in the hard times, can make me laugh. Yeah. You and know? what do you look for, or did you look for, in a woman? You see it right here. <laughs> and, and, and what's that? <laughs> And that's everything, grace, uh, mm. the nurturing and the, the loving, a loving person, mm -hmm. you know, that, like you say, you know, that can love you through your force and be there through the good and the bad times. Are you so, the head of your wife? Yes, <laughs> I am as Christ, the head of us. Mm. What does that mean to be the head of your wife? It's, it means um, I'm not physically the head of her, like, demanding. And I respect her as being my wife right. and not a, a, a doormat or a footstool to say, you know, you cook for me, you do laundry for me, you do this. No, I have to love her as Christ loved the church. Does yes. she naturally do those things for you? She cooks oh, yes. and clean and do oh, yes. oh, yes. And if she didn't do it, because there are a lot of women who won't do that now, and these men are stuck with them, mm -hmm. how should they get their wife to cook and clean and do the things that a wife should do? Submit. Submit to the wife? Submit, submit. The, the, what do you mean the by wife, submit? The wife submit, the husband submit. But it's what not, do you mean by for the what do you mean by submit? How does like, one submit? It's like when the marriage is a partnership, okay? You can't do she can't do more than me and I can't do more than her. What I mean, we gotta bring equal to the table. I know my role, she know her role. And a lot of people now, you know, they say, you know, you the woman have to be beneath you. But that's not how Christ wanted. That's how not. That's you would not get the the best results that way. You know, you would get rebellious. You would before get, you yeah. marry her. Did you know that she was willing to cook and clean? Oh and, yes, and yes. Cook? Because you guys discussed that prior, right? Yes. All right. That's yes. what a lot of guys and ladies don't do during the dating period. They do not discuss those things, and then when they get married, it brings conflict because now mm -hmm. they're not functioning well. Mm -hmm. Because basically, you know, I come from a home that my mom and dad are still together. Right. You know, they're still married over 40, 40 something years. So I know what it looked like to have a, 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 a Proverbs 31 woman. I know what it is to have a father in the right. home, vice versa, she did also. You had so your father mom, and mother in the home? Yes, I did. Yeah. And I would um, like to, you know, just inject that a strong marriage is more than just um, cooking and cleaning. Yes. You know, some women are not good at cooking, and the men are very good at cooking. Amen. And you got to come in agreement. Some men rather cook, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's mm -hmm. all in coming to agreement and learning to communicate with your partner. 
you got to work together. Yes. You got to talk. You got to trust each other. Mm -hmm. So you agree that Maurice is the head of you? Ma he has been the head, and I, 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 I put him there because I know my place, um, and, and I know where God has put me. Mm -hmm. And you he is the head of the household, the not the head of me. He's the head of the household. He's the, he's the, he's the one that will lead and guide and tech, protect and uh, take care of the household for us. So and he's not that. the head of you. He, Christ is the head of me. But your right? husband is supposed to be the head. And he is the head of the household. And we, I follow him as he follow Christ. Amen. And my children follow uh, us. Right. They follow us. Yeah. We set the example. So let me just ask, mm -hmm. did you know you're not the head of your wife, but the house? Oh, yes. You I knew mean, that? It's just, it's just but you just told me you're the head of your wife. But this is the thing. Uh -uh. As the word. As the word, as the word kicking, that's why, brother, we got to keep your scripture. Yeah. It has see, to be. That's why, I see. But what does the scripture, does the scripture say you're the head of your wife or you're the head of the house? It says, it said the man is the head. Of what? Okay. Mm -hmm. Is the head based over the church? No. What did it? The it, wife. So and did the Bible Mr. say Mr. you're the head of your wife or the head of the house? The head of the house. No, the Bible doesn't say that. Me included, the exactly. children. No, but what does the Bible say? He, he's the head. Of what? He's the head of the household. The Bible doesn't say that. <laughs> what does it say? Man is the head of his wife as Christ mm -hmm. is the head of man. That's right. fine. But you guys saying that he's the head of the house, mm -hmm. you said he's not the head of you. Well, the way you word it, but he's the head of the house in all of us. But that's not all scriptural. Of, he leads us. He that leads doesn't us. work. He leads us. But why are you deviated from that one? And I'm asking because a lot of people want to know these things and mm -hmm. they're having a rough time. Mm -hmm. And they are married women who will accept that he's the head mm -hmm. of the house, mm -hmm. but they won't accept he's the head of me. Because they got, they not grounded. Exactly. See, we're grounded but you're in not Christ. Saying that. You're not saying he's the head of you. We are grounded. We are grounded. When you are grounded in Christ, he will show Christ you is, is the head of us all. So let me go back to the, the order of Christ. He's the head. So is Maurice the head of you? Is, is he the head of me? Yes. In what way? As your husband, your head, head is he is, the head of you? I follow him as no, he follows Christ. That's not Christ. what I'm asking though. Is he the head of you? If he wasn't a godly man, then there would be a difference. One more time. Is he the head <laughs> of you? Is he the head of me? Yeah. As he follows Christ. Yes. Amen. But don't, don't give he me that. He follows Christ. I will follow him. So Maurice is the head of you. He's the head of me as he follows Christ. And only. Um, what do you think about that? I'm cool with that. I'm good with but that. But now we, are right. you the head of the house or the head of your wife? Whatever God say. What did God mm -hmm. say? You guys are pastors. I'm going to get into that mm -hmm. too. Oh, what yeah, did we, God we say about man cool and his wife? The man is the head. He's the head. This is so important because I know a lot mm -hmm. of, and I counsel mm -hmm. with a lot of Christian mm -hmm. couples mm -hmm. who they have a major deal with this now mm -hmm. where the wife would not accept that her husband's the head of her. They'll say the head of the house. But that's mm -hmm. not what God said. That's mm -hmm. not what the scripture said. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I'm asking because a lot of people watch the show and they knew we were going to do a show on family and marriage because mm -hmm. I'm about rebuilding families. Mm -hmm. So it's important to know, did the Bible say that the man is the head of his wife? Yes. I'm sorry? Yes. They can't hear you. You have to speak yeah. up a little louder. I'm, I'm like this. Did I'm like this. Answer that like first. This. Just yes. so, so the people know. We, he made that the head, the husband, the head. Of what? He did that. Hatchet. Of what? The home. No. The did church. he make him the head of the wife? It comes a 50-50. And that's okay. what the Bible says? It comes a 50-50. Does the Bible say that? The Bible says, I'm the head. Do you see how tough this is? You got to want to admit you're it's, the head of your it's, wife. It's, you it's said not it, tough. and then Anita Hold said, no, it's, it's he's not, the head of the no, house. It's not and now tough. now you're checking not, it out. No, it's not tough because we know our place. Mm -hmm. See, but it's tough, it's no, tough to people that don't believe. No, we talk about what the scripture say, though. Okay. What does the scripture say? Mm -hmm. He the head of, I'm the head. Oh, so we, we good with that. I'm, I have no problem. So you got exactly. to want to admit that. That's a problem. It's not a problem. What? It's a problem to people that don't know order. But That's right. The order okay. of God is God in Christ, Christ okay. in man, if you man want over move. woman, and woman over children. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the order? Mm -hmm. Is that the order needed? I have no problem with that. Is that the order? See, the thing is, the thing is, when you say that, we have to make sure, because not everybody Man. is, does everybody that look at this program, are they Christians and understand 
the order. If they're not, then they're just li looking at it as he's a man, and this mm -hmm. should be, because some men well, don't Christ follow Christ doesn't us. care about that. Christ care about the order, and as children of God, mm -hmm. we should just care about the order. If somebody's gonna misread that, that's on mm -hmm. them. I'd rather tell them the truth, mm -hmm. so they have another way of thinking and seeing things, mm -hmm. than to say that the man is the head of his house, when Christ clearly says he's the head of his wife. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem. If you don't have the order there, it's not going to work anyway. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's why we need to make sure that we listen to the one that's telling us. If Amen. they're listening and Amen. they're reading that scripture, exactly. then they should believe the scripture and that they follow Christ. But you guys don't seem to believe it. We believe scripture because, because you said he's the head, the head of his he's the head, house. The whole, that means everyone but in the house. But that's not what Christ said. But look, that's whole, been whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, he's got a this, this is no, 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 no. This is this is what it is, brother. This is what it is. See, we already know who we are. Can't nobody change that. You can't change that. We can't change but that. But we're not talking this about who wait, you hold, are. Hold, we're hold, talking wait, about wait, the, the order of life. Wait one second. What I'm saying is this. All right. Now we understand what the word say. We follow Christ. The Bible said, and you should know the truth. And the truth should make you free. What does that I ain't have in to prison do with being no the head of your wife? I ain't in prison no more. I'm not, this is what I'm saying. We have respect for each other. That's the thing. That's okay? Not, that's not the question, though. The question well, is the order because we need to get the family back in order. Mm -hmm. And in the good old days when boys were boys and men were men, mm -hmm. men and women understood that order. Women mm -hmm. knew that mm -hmm. their husband was the head of them. Mm -hmm. and that uh, they get their love and instruction from their husbands and they pass it down to the children. Mm -hmm. Now, because we've allowed secularism to creep into the church, mm -hmm. the, the, the Christians are sounding like the world. They're afraid to say that the man is the head of mm -hmm. his wife and the wives are afraid won't admit it. So that's why things are starting to fall apart. See, she Would you agree to that? She didn't have a problem. I, I don't have a problem. And she said how? Had, she said you're no, not her head. She didn't, she, Me, she I didn't said have me included. Me included. I expect him to lead us. I expect right. him. But you just to said he's not your head. He, you're the head of the house, and you said I said Christ. Christ, Christ, well, Christ is first because he's for both of us. But I follow him. But who's your head? Who's the head of you? Term. Give me the term of that. Who's the head? Who's over you? What do you mean over? The, your head. You don't know what that means. I want you, I want you to tell me so that we can make sure we have a clear understanding because a lot of it you're saying it sounds natural, and then there's a spiritual side mm -hmm. also. He's not talking about just washing dishes and washing clothes in the house but to no do one certain has said things. That, I didn't say that that's either. natural, but see, that's natural. But what the key is that God was talking in the spirit, things of the spirit. That's why I say I follow him as, as he followed Christ, as, because as he's a, talking about that. As a married woman, Christ is not your head. Your as, husband is your head. And Christ is ahead of him. And that didn't I follow him. But you said Christ he is ahead. He says this. But do you agree Christ is not the head of you? Are you trying to say I, I don't go to Christ. I got to go through him in yes. order to get to Christ. Exactly. That is not the word. You can go around your <laughs> husband to get to Christ. That is not the word. So tell me, can you go around your husband to get to Christ? That I go with my husband. Can you go around him? We come into agreement and we stand and we believe and I support him. He supports me because it also says that the man should submit himself also unto the wife. You know, a lot of guys have a hard time. And the reason I know this, I'm dealing with this, I'm, you know, I'm counseling a lot of people. And these are some of the things the guys want to know. When you wake up in the morning and you're all happy, or you come home from work and you're feeling good, you had a good day, and Anita is upset about nothing. You know, she's mad or carrying on. And she's, you know, you start like, what, what's wrong, honey? Nothing. Uh, well, why are you acting that way? I'm not acting no kind of way. How do you deal with that in her, that hell that's in her? How do you deal with that when it comes up? I don't deal with that. <laughs> what do you do? I don't deal with it. What that do you don't do? happen. When, what, mean, what you mean does happen? It don't happen. How does he deal with you when that comes up? <laughs> I'm going to tell you exactly the reason why he said he don't deal with because he let the Lord deal with me. He does. You see, that's so that relationship you. that you're saying that I got to go through him <laughs> and all that. That's not true. See, I have so a personal relationship. So when that comes up, your husband don't deal with it at all. He just let the Lord he, deal with it? Let me, he knows that God is going to deal with me. He oh, knows that, so does that he God's going to calm me down. Does he avoid you when you're acting that way? Well, he'll just get quiet. Oh, he will? 
He's, he tries. He doesn't add into it. Why doesn't he correct you when you're like that? Because the you, responsibility of the husband no, no, no. is to help the wife to overcome the hell no. that's in her. If I'm doing something that is totally out of the will right. of God, then I expect him to get me back on the right track yeah. to say, you know, well, you hold on for a second. You need to cut that second. out. Why are you acting like Yeah, yeah you, so you're doing something that, so you So are you know, disappointed when he won't deal with it? He just let the Lord deal with it? Do you feel disappointed no, as a no, wife and a woman? No, no, no whatsoever because he understands my relationship with the Lord. And I respect his relationship with the Lord. To understand that even if we but have But God gave a, him that responsibility to correct you so that you can overcome that hell and come into his heaven. And in, 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 in there will be times, let me say, if he knows that, like you say, I'm just all up in the air. Right. Say I'm all up in the air. Yeah. He'll, give me, he'll let that the Lord deal with me to calm me down. And if it's something that was, did he really need to address to be like, you know, honey, I think, you know, he'll come to me and sit down with me in a calm situation. Mm. You know, sometimes you can bring fuel to the fire if you come when you see someone already up in the air. And if they, especially if it's they are up in the air about nothing. You're saying that that was given you know, that responsibility was given to him to do that. Right. He takes all over where the father leaves off. You know, and my... And your, my your earthly father. My, er, my earthly father. But you guess what? Don't, don't a lot of times our earthly fathers allow us to work through it? I, we know when to let them, let God deal with them and step back. See, he is our father. But heaven. you, one last thing about that, do you agree with me, both of you, that he is your Christ, right? No. Your well, husband is not your Christ? How can, <laughs> that is not what <laughs> scripture is. Christ is the head of everything. See, no matter. Is he the head of your on, wife? He's head of my wife. And he's head so of everything. I, but you're he's not. everything. So but look, me, no matter how you twist it, how you turn it, but I know where we at. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. So, you know, that's something you got to find out. We already know. And so the men and women <laughs> who are watching who want to know this, you, you can't tell them how they just have, you, find are Christ. you saying that the evil you have to find out? Okay. Find Christ. All right. Find Christ. Both. Because the Bible said again, and you should know the truth. And the truth mm -hmm. should make you free. Right. A lot of people lost because they don't have that guidance. Yeah. And that guidance is the Holy Spirit. Let me ask this. Both of you are pastors, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. And who became a pastor first? We became pastors together. At the same time? Yes. Tell me about that. Well, back in um, Virginia, I know we was called um, to do ministry. And, um, and when God called me into to ministry, it was like, you know, we was there together. And I told her, I said, we're going to be here together, pastor in this church together, as the Holy, God baptized us in the Holy Spirit together, you know, like a week apart. Um, and we start, you know, pursuing ministry. We start seeing God just move tremendously in ministry through us. So God called you and then you called your mm -hmm. wife? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't call my wife. Did God call you the pastor? Or did you did, get the information did, from him, from your husband? No, 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 no. Hold God, on, hold, hold, God hold, hold. dealt with him. God mm -hmm. dealt with him in, in the spirit right. to rise him up into office as a prophet and then as a, an apostle and a chief apostle. And in that process, when the Lord dealt with him, he started taking him down the road. I was always a praying woman. I was always a woman of God, but I did not know my call. Right. And so when God began to deal with him and began to elevate him into a position, God began to do the same for me. It started with him and he began to move. I'm talking about working in the anointing, learning and, and understanding and accepting who he is. And when he did that, I came following, understanding and going to God myself, mm -hmm. understanding that, that, Lord, what do you want me to do? And the Lord directed me, but he directed me and him, but we were growing and we was in different positions. What would have happened had you gone to your husband and you said, you know what, honey, God called me too and he want me to be a pastor as well. And he said, no, that's out of order, it's not of God. Would you have said, okay, fine, I won't do it? I'm, I'll tell you exactly how, how it, when the Lord told him that we needed to open up a church and, and did, you know, um, I, I didn't, at that time, I wasn't ready. I was already walking in the anointing and, and walking in my gift. 
but I wasn't ready to settle down to be a pastor. And do you know it took two years? It took two years. Pastor uh, uh, Maurice, a lot of men nowadays are married to women who are preaching and ministering and doing those kind of things. But what I'm hearing is that those women are very difficult to deal with because they feel like a man. You know, they think they are as a man is. And so a lot of relationships are not working out. How should men handle women who think that they have been called by God and they are trying to be pastors and they are difficult to deal with? What should the men do? First of all, they should go to God, ask God. And, ask and then God when to God says no, they're not and called show, by and him. To show them, and to show them her. And that's what I had to do. Um, because I can't say that she can't preach the word or teach the word. I can't do that. Only God can. So, and we have that connection. If God showed her, I'm going to God and say, God, what did you show her? And God showed me what he showed her. And so that's how we came together. Is that in the scriptures? Well, yeah, you got prophets, women prophetess, women double, prophetess, you know, yes, prophetess, women double. And but is there anywhere in the scripture Miriam? where God called women to be heads, mm -hmm. be preachers and pastors and ministers? I'm just asking. They, they could, they could be. Who, who was the first one that ministered to Jesus? No, I'm asking you. No, no, no. I'm asking you. Is there any, who no, the first one ministered to Jesus? Sure you're my experts. Is that so in the scripture? Anybody. There's no woman, that's called man, by God. Greek or Jew. Do you hear me? You hear my question? Did you hear me? No, no, did you hear, <laughs> did you hear just, my, I'm, yes, I'm just saying, you. do you understand the question that I'm asking? I understand the question. For the asking. record, is, uh, is there anywhere, Anita, in the scriptures where God called women to be pastors and preachers and teachers and all that? Well, they were in the, they were in, they are in scripture, they, they're there as ministers. Um, and it says in there, there's no man, no woman, no Greek, no Jew. You know, just because he is a man don't mean that he is called. He might not be willing. And if he's not willing and that woman is willing, do you think that the Lord is going to, go, the, the kingdom, that, that he's well, going to stop it? You should not it? answer my question. For the sake of helping relationships mm -hmm. to work, mm -hmm. is there anywhere in the scriptures where it says God called women to be preachers and pastors and reverends and all those things. Is that scripture? If so, where? No, no. But he it's also said, if he didn't say it Are you for saying men no, either. it's not in the Bible? It's, I did, it's nowhere Pacific where he said, you have to be a certain gender. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. You're That's saying, not my question, though. But you're saying if there is in there. This, 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 this is that in the Bible. This nowhere. Is the it's not in the Bible, right? It's not in the Bible okay, for no this, so particular then why person. Are, why are women doing it and why are the husbands allowing it to happen if they are men of God? Why are they allowing the women to do things that God didn't ask them to do or made it possible for them to do? Because when, men, when, when the Lord said that men are the head, he said over the household. He didn't say now, that. It, over the over the home, it like you said, over that. the wife, as over you say, wife, over yeah. the over the over, you know, over the household. No, the, I mean, the, the house. Household. I keep saying household. Yeah. The wife right. and over, you know, the kids are. <laughs> but that's in that situation. So now, what is he in the Bible the where women are called to be pastors? Why is it happening? Because, willing, like yeah. I saw, like the Bible said. Is like the, I'm gonna stick to the word, bro, because it's it's like but that's not in you know, the word. Wait a minute, listen to what I'm saying. I ain't, I ain't gonna be argumentative. No, no, no. I'm, not, I'm, I'm trying to get some because, answers. You guys no, no, won't no. give me the answer, no. so I'm, I'm trying not, to I'm just not make sure I'm clear. Because that ain't because that's, that's not, not in the Bible. Listen, Why is it that happening? Not, that's not what we do, and that's not what I'm here for. Okay, um, what I'm saying is this: through our call, through our call to do this, this work that we do, whether it's male or female. Mm -hmm. If God called you, he's gonna anoint you to do it. No matter if you're male or female. And I've seen some women pastors that's on fire for God. Mm -hmm. And it's making an impact. And it's not because, oh wow, you know, uh, I gave them a chance. You ain't, and men didn't give women chances. So you're chances. not answering it's the not. question. You said it's not scripture. Why is it happening? It's happening That's because cool. if God called them, they're going to do what God said. No calling matter them. what, no There's matter no what. There's no proof that God is calling them. You got to have a relationship. Okay, bro. so let me ask this way. Uh, in order for a woman to be a pastor or a preacher or reverend or whatever they are, they will have to be the head over men in churches, right? Would God ever put the woman as the head of man? In a church. Yes. Well, my thing is, and what I have experienced mm -hmm. is that 
I believe that I, you know, when 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 there is a couple, I believe, and if that's a man of God, allow him to be the man of God in the head. Mm -hmm. Now, if there is no one there, and if there is a woman of God that is is doing what God is telling her to do, and to preach the gospel, um, to speak the word, to to speak life into people. You know, I, you know, I can't say whether yay or nay is that right or wrong. So would God ever put women, the head over men in a church? I'm not the judge. Is there any way in the <laughs> scriptures where he said he would I'm do that? I'm not the judge. It's, what it's, do you it's, say it's, to that it's, question? It's, it's like this. Would God ever whoever, put women in whoever, the, as the head of men in a church? God yes will put no? whoever he want, what, whether it's is male that scripture? or female, whoever he want. Is that scripture? I'm not going to debate on that, sir. <laughs> but you're the, I brought preachers in I'm so finished. that you guys can help me to help the folks. I'm finished. We we got I'm to finished. we I'm we have to it. we have to stick and we have to yeah. stay on a firm foundation. Exactly. And That's the what reason we why to do. I don't touch certain things because it's not my place. God does mm -hmm. things, and I don't get in that. I can't tell you why on certain things. I let God deal with that. That's mm -hmm. not my place. I do what God called me to do. And I stay in my lane with that, with what God but tells me. But I can me tell to. you that God doesn't do that. God, God doesn't. doesn't put women over men. He's okay. not going to change his order okay. of God in Christ, Christ in man, man over right. woman. Right. And just because women want to do it, that doesn't mean we have to accept it as being the right thing. And their husbands right. should not allow their wife to do it because he is the Christ. And by him allowing his wife to do something like that, he is not protecting his wife from evil. He's allowing that order to be broken. And that's why it's not in the scripture, because it's not of God. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot, I'm a, and I will give you um, this much. I do believe that there is an outer order that is happening in the body of Christ. Right. I do believe that it, because you know why? And, and, but I think the way Christ is doing things, he still got to push the kingdom because what's happening is he's getting a lot of the men out of place. He's, 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 he's attacking the, the, the men. I'm noticing that, yeah, the women, I'm noticing a lot of women, of, of, of pastors that are beginning to come. Where is the men? Where are the men because that Satan are raising? Because these women doing but this, see, it's not and the just men too weak to stop them. Where are they in the household? Right, same thing. See, it starts there. Don't think it starts in the church. It's it, not. It started in the house. It starts when the first mm -hmm. church, when we started, was at home with our family. Yes. That's where he was the first pastor, was in the household. Do you agree yeah. with me, Anita, that when mm -hmm. the father, the husband is weak in the home, mm -hmm. the children, the wives end up screwing up the children? Depending on when, depending on, are they a follower of Christ? I don't, I look both ways. If, okay, because. If he, is a, if he is a man of God, but he's weak, the wife still screw up the children. If he's not a man of God and we, the wife screw up the children. Well, it's different. Do, if you she's, agree with that? If she's a woman of God and she's led by the Lord, she's even good. though if that man is out of place, she's going to install what she needs to install in them children if she's grounded. Now, if she's in captivity because a woman is, I mean, because a, a man is an alcoholic or he's out of place or he's not nurturing or whatever the situation is, he's out of place. Do you place. agree that most women, when the men are weak, mm -hmm. they end up screwing the children up? Well, I'm like this. If, if they fall in Christ, they ain't weak no way. I'm asking no, you another not. kind of question. Weak. Do no you, matter how the way you put it, I'm not, I'm not going to be when the man, men are weak, the uh, children grew up the parents. Right the children I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be argumentative. It's not argument. We I know have a discussion. I'm the one met with this because you, I see what, where you at, you know, and I know where I'm at. You where here am I? To, you here to ask questions to right. get us riled up? No, I'm not. For, for I'm, I'm trying to get no, answers. The families but see, are falling we not, apart. We not, we not, like Anita said, the men are weak. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. We not. We not here for that. OK, this is what we're here for. We're here to push the kingdom of God. That's what we're here for. But that's so what we're I'm, talking wait about. Wait a minute. Hold up, brother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're here to push the, the kingdom of God. All right. Now, we sitting here. We asking you asking us questions. We asking. We're not going to get hostile about it because that's not what we do. That's not representing the kingdom of God. OK. And we here as kingdom representative right now. Do you? And I and I and I. Because I, of time. I, on, I got to move forward. No, no, no. Hold wait on. a minute. Wait a minute. But Real I fast. do actually. No. You, you, you on my time now. Okay? Real fast. No, you on my time. What, what do you so have what with? I'm saying is this. I'm sitting here and we sitting here, we answering qu um, questions that you have. 
But the only thing we saying is we are gonna be selective on what we answer and how we do things Why because is that? we are kingdom representative. We're not gonna sit here and let the enemy flush us out and try to make us look a certain way on TV. We're not gonna do that because we still represent the kingdom. Okay, Our father's that. watching. You right. understand what I'm saying? I got that. Because so, we kingdom. So let me ask okay? you, we have ten minutes left here. Let me ask. Mm -hmm. uh, do you believe that human beings are in a fallen state? Yeah. You do? Yeah, I believe and, yes. And and explain that. What does it mean to be in a fallen state? And how does one know when he or she is in a fallen state? The, the Bible say it says this, it said he said, In the last day there will be perilous time. You will see these things, children turning against their mothers. They can be lovers of money. They're gonna be doing all this. We see this, we see murder, we see all of these things. That means we have to get on our knees. We have to go to God, man, yeah. because he's the only one that can can fix this thing. And until we come to the knowledge who Christ is, they're going to continue to fall into this. What zone. is causing the fallen state? What is causing sin. human sin. being? Sin. sin. And so what is sin? Sin is anything that's contrary to God, to like the word of God and the will of God. You drink it, not what, what, well, murdering, anything that's, that's not in the commandments. So how does one overcome those things? How Through do you Jesus. come out of the fallen state? Through Jesus. And, and Something once you go through Jesus, do you do you continue to sin or do you sin no more? Grace, mercy. Mm -hmm. Do you stop right sinning? After, you you got to ask God to help you with these things, to take you out of it. It's just like you ain't going you ain't going to just automatic bam come right out of it. That's why we have the Holy Spirit that the Bible said he will lead us and guide us in all truth. So if some things come and these advices that had us bound and tied up we're going to have to go to God and say, God, look, you know what I do. I'm a sinner. Look, I so got to be helped you, with these things. Once you return, you to, God, help. Once you you return help. to God, do you still sin? Yeah, you have, we yeah. all have that sinful nature. As a we child of God, you still have that sinful yes, that's nature. That's why we got the Holy Spirit to so, help us do this take you, every yeah. day. Do you still sin? I am still in the flesh. So do we walk in perfection? I will not say no, I mean, I, will, I cannot walk in perfection because Jesus Christ is the only one that did, and I walk in him. Are you saying that too? Well, he will, he will, he free, will free you. Me. Like she said, she will free you from it, and you stumble. won't practice sin. Well, you, you won't practice it. it. Mm -hmm. Because if you was a drug addict, right, and, and you was delivered and you set free from it, you can be around drugs. You ain't going to take them Do because you still you're sin? free. No, not like that. I don't willfully sin. No, sir. Do you sin at all? Well, like I say, anything could be sin. How about anything you? Do, like, you, do you sin? We all sin and fall short no of the glory No matter about God. you, do you that's sin? What do, that's what the yeah. Word said. No, do I'm using the scripture. Sinners. We fall we sin. All do we you all sin? fall short of the glory of God. Well, I don't go out there and drink, smoke, murder. I don't do all that. You but, see what I'm saying? I stay what right type there of sin in that. still commit? Whatever God say. We, sin is anger you can get. You can, that's you get angry at times? You know, you can get upset. You get angry at times? If I go down the highway... And, okay. and somebody cut me off and me the boom, I mean, why in the world, he, you know, and you, you got to ask God for forgiveness. I don't go out there and practice sin, brother. That's not what I do. Well, I don't That's not what I'm called to do. Okay? No, but, I mean, so, why even no. bother becoming a child of God if you're still going to be doing the same thing? Why not just stay with Satan? No. Because that's his nature. He has a sinful nature. No. And we in that fallen nature. state, we have Satan nature. And, and we don't like it. So we try to find a better God. And we hear about the God of God, and he said, okay, come unto me, and you don't sin, but it's not like you guys are saying that once you go unto him, you're still going to sin. Why bother? Why but not you just don't understand with, the grace? freedom. Why not just stay with you? <laughs> you don't understand the freedom. But there's the no freedom free in sin. Yes, it is. It's freedom in, in Jesus. Jesus Christ. In Jesus. It is freedom. My final I'm question. Sustained. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. <laughs> It, it was good. It was, it was, it, it was good. I see what the whole thing was about. That was very, you know, a but the whole thing good. is just we have to keep whatever what? we do, we have to keep Thank it. Thank you guys up. so much for coming, all right? I'm on by me a plan. I'm on by me a plan. I'm on blob. I'm on blob from town to town. I don't find the girl I love. I ain't gonna let my. Thank you for watching The Father's State. If you like the shows, I want you to subscribe here and donate here.